All right, this is John Kohler with OKRod.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and this is going to be the one if you live anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area, you will want to pay attention to. What I'm going to be doing today is going to the two best wholesale produce terminals in the whole entire San Francisco Bay Area. For those of you guys in the Bay Area, there are actually three produce terminals you can choose to go to. One in South San Francisco, one in San Francisco, and one in Oakland. So uh, today we're going to cover the South San Francisco and the San Francisco terminals. I've been to the Oakland one and I'd say don't waste your time coming to South City or coming to San Francisco. Right now I'm standing here at the site of the South San Francisco Wholesale Produce Terminal. It's on a terminal court and uh, this is what it looks like. It's the Golden Gate Produce Terminal. And uh, once you come down Terminal Court, what you're going to look at is you're going to go down a little dead end street and uh, there's a little gate box that has like a little gate, but if you're in a regular car, you don't need to stop, just kind of roll on through. Don't go through fast, but just kind of roll on through. Don't stop, don't ask the gate guy, nothing. One of the most important things to remember when you're shopping at the wholesale produce terminal is pretend you know what you're doing, even if you don't, right? Because if you don't look like you know what you're doing, then people are gonna be like, what's that person doing here? If you just kind of like get out, go in, do your stuff, walk with, you know, like you know what you're doing, then nobody's gonna question you, you're gonna be cool, right? I mean, it's true that anybody can come here as long as you, you know, bring some cash money with you. Cash walks, BS talks, I got a nice wad of cash here to to buy some organic wholesale produce. Um, so you, number one, you gotta bring some cash. Number two, you gotta come at the appropriate time. So this place opens up at like two or three a.m. in the morning. They stay open until about like nine. If you come at nine, forget about it. They're closing shop. They're gonna be pissed that you're here late. You need to come at the appropriate time. Right now it's sun up. I mean, we're literally just a few, I don't know, blocks from the airport. We dropped somebody off at the airport this morning, so that's why we're here now. So yeah, the optimal time to come is right at daybreak, man, like 5.30, 6 a.m., depending on what time of year. Dress warm, this is the San Francisco Bay Area, a little bit nippy out, and uh, bring cash. And uh, the other thing about this is that you can bargain. So you wanna think of a wholesale produce terminal. I mean, for those of you guys that don't know, the wholesale produce terminal is where the supermarkets, where the health food stores, where the restaurants come to buy their produce in bulk. So if you're a raw foodist, if you're a vegan, if you're somebody that eats lots of fruits and vegetables, you're gonna wanna come out here to get the best deals. Now I always encourage you guys to shop your local farmer's market first before the terminal, uh, but you know, sometimes everything is not available at your local farmer's market, so then I suggest filling in at the terminal with the things you can't buy your farmer's market. And that's of course, if those things you're not growing yourself at home, because I always recommend everybody grow their own garden. It's the cheapest and uh, best way to get the highest quality food. The produce terminal is probably about third on my list, but I'm here today and it's a lot better buying it here because it's a lot fresher. You're gonna save more money than buying it at the grocery store. So anyways, let's uh, head into the Golden Gate produce terminal. I'm gonna share with you guys the ropes so that you guys will know what to do so you don't have to look like that guy like, what's going on, I don't know, and then they'll be like, you need help, what's going on? And then, you know, so you'll look in place and you'll, you'll know the, the deal. Let's do it. So there's the gate box you'll enter at, and then when you drive in, you're just gonna see like big trucks and you know, like all these trucks, and it's gonna look confusing. So what you're gonna wanna not do is not be confused, and what you will wanna do is look out for forklifts, look out for people that are walking, look out for trucks, and you know, drive slow in here and pay attention. Don't hit nobody and don't get hit with anything. Uh, the forklift drivers, sometimes, you know, they're, they're doing their job and they need to get their stuff done, so you know, pay attention to them. You're gonna cruise down this aisle and it's basically like a big U. These are like big warehouse buildings. And you wanna think of this as like, uh, if you're at the flea market and there's little sellers. Each seller has their own uh, company. So as you go down, you'll see like each seller has a name. That's Shasta Produce and that stall. That's Shasta Produce. Shasta Produce is big. There's Banner Fruit Company. Each one has a whole different selection of fruits and vegetables for sale. You're just gonna cruise down in the end. What you're gonna do, you're gonna find a parking spot along this center island thing in the middle there's like two sides of parking what I normally like to do is come down to the end um, and park near one of my favorite sellers which is on the other side so we're gonna just make a u-turn at the end and then park uh, next to one of these big trucks where there's an open parking space that's the best place to park uh, you do want to try to bring a big car um, or truck depending on how much you're gonna buy I like to bring a hatchback or an SUV and so we're just gonna make a u-turn here's the other building there's two main buildings and uh, we're gonna show you the technique on that in a second. 
and uh, we're just gonna make a U-turn and yeah check it out all this traffic man trucks and you know this is supposed to be like a one-way thing people are supposed to go you know the other way down this thing or something but whoa man this is like pretty scary so yeah as you guys can see lots of traffic uh, yeah so we're trying to look for a parking spot now maybe next to this black truck right here here's a nice little spot for us we're gonna park here and we're gonna get out and sh share with you guys more about how to work the terminal here so once you get out the car you're gonna see just like it's this big warehouse buildings and every seller has a stall so I have a, a pretty much a standard game plan where I'll make a, a loop so I park on this end I'll, I'll walk down each stall and kind of visually look to see what they got most sellers have most of their produce items out on display especially if you come early if you come later they're gonna put it away and I'll kind of look for like uh, the organic symbol I'll look for things that I want to buy and then I'll ask them the prices and I'll make the whole entire loop once I got kind of like the prices of certain ones in my head like some places might have the same box of organic cucumbers for you know a dollar two dollars three dollars less maybe even ten dollars less sometimes but you won't know unless you walk it off. You just go to the one place and buy all your stuff, you might not be getting the best deal. So what I'm here today to do is to buy as much organic as I can um, and some tropical fruits. And my diet is like 90 to 95% organic, so I'm mainly looking for organic. Most of the sellers here be aware that they have actually non-organic you know, uh, produce. There's one seller here that always carries organic and mostly organic, and then there's another seller that may have a good percentage of organic, but most of the sellers here do not. Now, it's the sellers that don't normally care the organic are the ones that you want to buy the organic from because they're selling it at the conventional prices. And that's what I like. If you go to the organic place that focus on organic, they're going to sell it to you at the organic prices, which means you're going to pay more money. So first, we're going to start at one end, walk down through every seller, show you guys what they have, and also um, you know, show you what we're going to get today. And basically, you're just going to ask the guy standing there the price. And then you're going to kind of register that in your head and keep that in your mind as you walk around and you're going to look for not only a good price but you also want good quality produce. Sometimes a produce is kind of going old, could be expiring quicker and then it's going to be less money or you could get stuff that's more, you know, uh, fresher and going to stay better longer but it's going to cost you more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make our loop and then we'll go back to the places that I like the most and uh, share with you guys my favorite sellers here at the South City Produce Terminal. So now we're at a CB Edulis, one of my favorite places to get some of the tropical produce. This is what they got today. They got all kinds of peppers. They got some mangoes. Come right, closer. And uh, I'm not too interested in that stuff, but what I am interested in are these guys right here. They got the uh, young coconuts, and these are the young Mexican coconuts. These ones are actually called the Selecto Tierno. And then they got the uh, Coco Fresco Cezanne. So for drinking the water, I prefer these guys at Tierno. They're white. And uh, this case is 20 pieces, about $27 today, and these guys are 22 bucks for 20 pieces. And uh, I'm probably going to get these guys. And uh, besides the uh, coconuts, they also got these guys, some of my favorite. These are the cactus fruit. They got three kinds today. They got the green kind here, uh, another green kind here with less spines, actually. And they got the red ones. I really like the red ones the most, and the prices vary in these guys from $18, $19, and $20. I'd probably actually get these red ones more high in antioxidants. Now the other thing I might consider here today is the uh, jicama. Check out the jicama over here. Now you guys know jicama, right? Jicama is definitely a good root vegetable. Really mild, you could eat it raw, it's really delicious like uh, cut into chips. You want to skin it, cut it into chips, dip it into some guacamole, cut it up on salads. And here's the uh, jicama that you might have seen at your grocery store. This is from Mexico today. It's, uh, it's $18 a case. And, uh, but it's from Mexico, so you know, this stuff is not super high quality. You can see it's kind of drying out here. For this case, this case is from California, man, and this is the bomb stuff, check it out. This stuff is fresh jicama. Look at the difference. This one's fresh, not dried out. This is the one from Mexico, it's traveled longer, it's more dried out. The fresh, freshest is always best, this including the jicama. This stuff is so much sweeter than the stuff from Mexico. If you are buying this stuff from Mexico, it's all right if you get it dried out, but I always encourage you guys to get it more fresh. I mean, just look at the difference in that stuff. And let me tell you, this California stuff tastes great. So as you guys can see at the produce terminal, they have everything on display. This is only if you get here early. If you get here late, they're not going to have things on display. And, you know, you'll be able to see the produce. You guys can see on here it's a 4042. You know, if it starts with a 4 and it's 4 digits, it's not organic. You want to look for numbers with a 9 if that concerns you. 
But you know, basically you have case and case of fruit and you can just ask them for the price. If you want the price, I'm just gonna pretty much skip all this stuff because I'm specifically looking for organics today. Actually, they got some over here. So these are some of the cucumbers I normally get. They're from Baja Organics. These are greenhouse Persian cucumbers. These are definitely delicious and I like them a lot. Today, they're only 19 bucks a case. Definitely good price. So now we're at TM Summit, another place I like to frequent and get some of my produce at. And today, uh, they have a lot of avocados. Uh, the best avocados are the ones that are the, the ripest. And those are the ones I want to eat and want to buy anyways. And they got these guys, 96 count avocados today. Check it out, man. These would be fine on the 80 10 10 diet because they're so small. You could probably eat a whole one and it's probably nothing in calories, especially if you're eating 4,000 calories a day. But uh, nonetheless, today you could buy 96 avocados for 20 bucks. And these guys will have to be eaten really quick, man. They're ripe. In addition, another thing I often buy, depending on the time of year, is a hothouse grown tomatoes and cucumbers. These are the hothouse grown tomatoes and cucumbers, or tomatoes anyways. And I like the hothouse ones as an alternative to organic. I prefer organic, but if you can't get organic or they're too expensive, the hothouse, especially this brand, uh, the Eurofresh, is actually uh, pesticide free. Right here, pesticide is residue free. And normally on these guys, they don't need to add, use pesticides because they're in their greenhouse and the pests don't get in. And they use what's called IPM or integrator pest management. So I believe this is much safer than conventionally grown produce in the field. So I will buy these guys when I need to. So I do prefer uh, the Eurofresh brand over the uh, brand next door, the Huelings tomatoes here that are on the vine. And uh, in general, I find these Camparis um, are much sweeter and taste much better than the, the standard large ones. Now the other hothouse grown item I sometimes get are these guys over here. And uh, these are the Eurofresh seedless cucumbers. These are also pesticide free, uh, grown in a greenhouse, and these are definitely delicious too. I like to use these for juicing, and because the seeds are you know, not as large as the standard cucumbers, they're a lot easier for eating, plus the skin's not as bitter. So I like that a lot too. I think these guys are 16 pieces for like 13 bucks today. And the tomatoes you just saw is like a case for about 13 bucks as well. So now we're in a Carcina fresh produce. As you guys can see, they got all this beautiful fruit here. Definitely delicious. You guys should eat more fruits. They're definitely good. Why I'm here today is because this is the bomb place you want to get your figs at. It's fig season now. Check these babies out. Fresh California figs. And these guys, man, they're ripe, ready to go, ready to eat right now. And check it out. Organic. Uh, how's it going, man? How much are these guys? How much are these guys? Two. All right, I'll take one. So how this works generally is you're gonna ask the guy outside for the price and then he's gonna write your tag. Then you need to take the tag or just uh, go in with your cash to the cashier person and pay him. Once again, cash him. All right, so once you guys pay, you're gonna get some paperwork and you need to give one of the papers to the guys. They're just gonna pull your order for you and then you're gonna take it and then the other, the other one's your receipt. So hold on to it. 32 bucks for a case for guinea figs, dude. I'm gonna be eating good this week. All right, check it out. I had to show you guys this, man. Um, with my friend Matt today, and he's like, what are these things? You guys, some of you guys know, these are fresh dates on the little vine thing, man. These things are the bomb. These are not ripe yet. What will happen is uh, these guys will actually start to change color, kind of get like translucent, uh, like tan, and they get super sweet. They're like fresh barhees, like on the vine dates. Definitely expensive, but these things are definitely the bomb. These are more water rich than the dried dates that you normally get. I definitely recommend getting these. Uh, if you could find them and afford them because they can't get pricey. So one of the things I want to share with you guys is that pays a shop around here at the produce terminal. We're at Franzella and today Franzella has an awesome deal on the cactus fruit. 12 bucks for a case cactus fruit. My reds, my favorites, I use these for juicing. They make a delicious juice, especially mixed with coconut water. So I just got these cactus fruits, it's 12 bucks, amazing deal. One thing I want to remind you guys, if you see a good deal, this might be the last one, and that's why I probably got a good deal on it. So buy now, ask questions later on some items when they're that good a price. Right here, what we're going to get today are these uh, cucumbers. These are hot house grown cucumbers. So $9.50 for uh, 12 pieces. Definitely a good deal, less than a dollar each. Other thing we're going to get here actually is the grapes. Normally they have non-organic, but sometimes they'll have organic. They also have organic bananas here. If you want organic bananas, check them out. They're green. And guess what? They've been gassed. We'll show you that in a minute. 
But uh, check it out. Here they got uh, non-organic grapes and they got organic grapes. Twenty-six fifty for nineteen pounds. That's less than a dollar fifty a pound, maybe a dollar forty a pound. It's definitely a good deal, man. The lowest price I normally see grapes for in retail is like two bucks. Now the thing I want to remind you guys is that when you're buying in bulk, you want to pay attention. Like grapes will tend to expire a lot faster than say watermelons that you could maybe store for several weeks at a time. You gotta eat the grapes up within a few weeks, and depending on when you get them. So like I'm looking at these grapes, and these grapes look pretty, you know, uh, pretty durable. They look pretty fresh. They're not going to expire fast. Sometimes if you get good deals on stuff here, they're really soft, and you got to eat them really fast. These should store easily a week in the fridge, no problem. Now we're at Brothers Produce. This is one of my favorite places to get some of the uh, tropicals. And as you guys can see, they have an amazing display of produce. And once again, you guys, you need to come early if you want to see the displays because they put them away later. Uh, I like Brothers for the cactus fruit. They got like four different kinds of cactus fruits today. They got the purple kind here. Uh, they also have some like red and green kind, two different kinds, and then they got the, the coconuts. They definitely have good coconuts. I've also gotten jackfruit here before in the past. So uh, let's check out these uh, cactus fruits here. Different cactus fruits are like a different type, so you can see like if you look at the differences, like I totally like this kind a little bit better. Looks a lot vibrant. And uh, these range in price actually from 12 to like I think $18 today. And the prices are always going to vary depending on the season, depending on the quantity, depending if they're going ripe or bad or not. I think I'm going to probably end up with these guys today. They look uh, just nice and vibrant colors. I always want to encourage you guys to pick your produce that's full of color. The more color it has, the more higher antioxidants and more nutrition it's probably going to be for you. And even if you're picking the green ones, you can see in this case of green ones here, in this case of green ones, like this is a darker green, not quite as ripe, but then these ones that are yellow are a lot more ripe or you know more ready to eat, gonna be sweeter to taste. So when you're picking out a case to buy, you wanna try to get ones that have more riper color, vibrant color fruits, because those are gonna be the ones that are gonna be better for you. And you're gonna wanna eat the vibrant color fruits first, because they're gonna expire sooner rather than later. So we've been at the terminal so far, and we've walked the whole line, this one side of the terminal first. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the other side and walk back, and we're still kind of scoping out the prices, although I'm occasionally buying things when they're like really good deals and I know they're gonna disappear. I just want something bad, like those figs. Mm, they're delicious. So we're gonna walk the rest of it and uh, get the prices and watch out for any kind of like a forklift and traffic, man, so you don't get run over. So now we're at a Bay Area Herb and Specialties, and they have a definitely good selection of organic, but not all organic. Uh, what they got today is they got some hothouse peppers that I might consider if I didn't have peppers growing in my garden. They got some organic figs. Uh, they always have like uh, organic tomatoes a lot of times. And they got these cool things, man. You may have never seen them before. These are actually called finger limes. And uh, they're little limes, but inside it's like, it's like basically lime caviar, man. It tastes like nothing else you've ever tasted. Definitely good to like flavor up a dressing and even for a new texture if you're making like a grapefruit soup with these like little like aerials inside there man they're so delicious but you got to make sure you get them as ripe as possible because normally in a trade they're picking these not as ripe as i like to eat them all right check out this deal i got man eight dollars for a case of uh zucchini squash yellow squash definitely a good deal now this was at shasta produce they didn't want me to film there so i just kind of came over here but shasta produce has two divisions a standard non-organic division and then at the very end they have an organic division so if you're looking for organics this is the best place to go for organics at this uh at this terminal is shasta organics at the end um and you always want to go there and ask them for the deals what, what are the deals this week and they'll let you know like the deals this week eight bucks for a case i mean this thing's like 20 plus pounds dude for eight bucks it's less than 50 cents a pound for organic squash, definitely a good deal. So some of you guys might not think that bananas are gas, but if they're organic, they are gas, check it out. Dole certified organic, organic only gassing. Yes, your bananas are gas, man. I encourage you guys to eat ripe fruit that don't need to be gas before you eat them. Dude, I just scored the bomb, check it out. Got these cases of coconuts. These are the Mexican coconuts I like, the white ones. Um, it's 15 bucks, Rigo Produce, dude. They're my favorite place to get the coconuts. They also often have the lowest prices. And uh, he hooked me up with a good deal. And check it out, because they're 15 bucks a case, 20 pieces. Check it out, man. In the car, we got five cases of coconuts. Why drink water when you guys could drink fresh coconut water, man? Electrolyte rich, filtered by the coconut tree, man. There's nothing better. And this is the water I'm drinking for the next week, baby. So besides just the coconuts, let me go ahead and chuck these in there. Let me show you what else we got here at the uh, terminal here in South City. We're gonna head to the San Francisco one next. So as you guys saw, we walked the, the loop, got the best prices, and then we went back to some of the places and we bought some of the stuff. 
Uh, on the initial loop, we bought a couple things that were definitely a good price that I just wanted, so I wanted to make sure they wouldn't disappear. What we got here is we got that 96 count of avocados, dude. 20 bucks. Some are soft, some are a little bit hard. And if you are getting good deals, you need to pay attention. And you're gonna need to do what's called cull your produce. What does that mean? That means you're gonna go through the whole box and like sort them. All the hard ones in one box, all the soft ones in the other box, and you can eat the soft ones first. And they definitely need to go in the fridge. If, they, if you're buying them fridge, they should stay fridge so that they stay longer. So yep, good deal on the avocados. Next, we got the cactus fruit. These guys, 12 bucks a case of cactus fruit. Definitely really good. They got nice color to them. Uh, next, we got two cases of organic figs. One for Buddy, one for me. Organic figs, can't beat that with a stick. 32 bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 little cartons, man. Eat that Whole Foods. This is the way to save money. We got, friend Matt got some grapes, dude. These grapes are kick ass. Definitely first quality, nice and firm. They're gonna last a while in the fridge. They actually charge them 25 bucks for 19 pounds, dude. That's the lowest price I've seen. Normally it's actually not a good idea to get grapes at the terminal because it's kind of expensive. I find that uh, many Costco sell organic grapes for a good deal. Next we got the, uh, the red cactus fruit, man. This was also a really good deal. I bought this on the first round because they were running out. I forget what this was, like 15 bucks. But yeah, here's the difference between these guys, man. I always want to encourage you guys to eat a variety, so don't just get the reds, get the greens too, man. Equal attention. It's like me and my brother when we were kids, we have to get equal attention from the parents. There's another case of the figs. And uh, finally, as you guys saw, I got that squash here. Eight bucks, case of squash, organic. As you guys can see, like, most of the stuff here was organic. The cactus fruits, I've never found them organic. I don't think they spray them. The coconuts are not organic, but they don't spray them or they don't dip those coconuts from Mexico like they do the ones from Thailand. And the avocados, I will buy non-organic. I'm not super concerned about those as well. So I always want to encourage you guys to eat as much organic as possible and be smart about it, you know. If you only eat organic, you'll never buy cactus fruits because you can't find them organic unless you're wild harvesting them yourself. You know, I would rather include some of these things that I believe to be like low or no spray because these just grow in nature wild, nothing really eats them. And uh, I'm cool with that. So anyways, next we're gonna head out to the San Francisco produce terminal and share with you guys what's there and what we're getting today so that you can find the best deals in the Bay Area on produce. So now we're at the San Francisco Wholesale Produce Market. We're here at Gerald and Tolan in San Francisco. We were at the South San Francisco terminal near the airport. So this one's a whole new experience. It's a lot different than the South City one. It's not as many crazy forklifts to deal with. There's a, a nicer parking area. And more importantly, uh, right behind the corner is Earl Organics and in a, in a new, a nice new building. So we're gonna actually head across the street to uh, Earl's and uh, that's where you wanna get organic produce. The number one place that I like to go for organic. They carry like almost all organic stuff there. So if it's in an Earl's, it's probably organic. But also, this means you're gonna pay top dollar unless it's on sale. So what I like to do is go into Earl's first, get their price list, and then I'll have a point of reference to try to like beat their prices at other places in the terminal that don't generally sell that much organic. So this is a new terminal. It's the San Francisco Wholesale Produce Market, and this, hopefully one of these days, they're gonna refurbish and redesign the whole other part of the market. This is the brand new building that contains Earl's Organics. Also, Whole Foods Distribution Center used to be on the end there. I don't know if they're still down there. But uh, you can't shop at Whole Foods Distribution Center, that's only for their stores, but you can shop at Earl's. So uh, Earl's closes promptly at 10 a.m., so you wanna make sure if you get here, get here at 9.30, don't even try to come at 9.55. They, they get kind of upset if you get here late. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in Earl's, go to the desk or the little window and ask for the price list. Then you can kind of see what they have and then how much it is. Also, they have the sales posted inside. Also, the other nice thing about Earl's, they got a nice bathroom you could use if you gotta go to the bathroom, because it's hard to find a bathroom at the terminal otherwise. So I just got the price list at Earl's, and uh, two things. You wanna put on gloves if you're inspecting any produce. Earl's does not allow you to walk around their warehouse, so don't do it. If you wanna see produce, you could ask them, they'll bring it out, and you could check it out. What they do have, it, they have a couple pallets here, usually of open box stuff. It's like going bad and reduced prices. So you could uh, go through this stuff, look through it, only if you put gloves on, and then you're gonna ask the guy at the window for the prices. In addition, they have um, sales uh, posted every week at the window, and those are definitely the best deals. This will this week they got some uh, California Keep mangoes, which are organic California grown mangoes are the best. It's like 20 bucks a case, so that's really good. I'm gonna kind of look through some of this stuff, and then we're gonna take our price list and uh, go over it. So 
we got the price list at Earl's and what I like to do is just kind of look over the price list and some of the prices are fairly expensive. For example, honey crisps, apples, 38 pounds, $103.50, man. I don't know about you, but I ain't that rich to be buying apples for $103 a case for 38 pounds. That's insane, man. That's why I'm like shopping around at different places. Now, Earl's, they also have cheap apples. The cheapest apples right now are 40 pounds for 42 bucks. So that's about a bucket pound. That's, that's actually halfway decent. But what we're gonna do now that we have the prices on what Earl's sell it for, we're gonna go around the regular terminal and just see if other places have some of these things for less. Of course, if you need something specialized, like oh, I need Granny Smith apples, you might need to go to Earl's because other places probably aren't gonna be so specialized. They might have some organic stuff and I'm cool with just eating whatever organic stuff they got than having to spend a lot of money at Earl's. But I like Earl's because they do have a wide variety and they have pretty much everything you're gonna need. So uh, what a tomato is one of my favorite places here at the San Francisco terminal. They carry some organic sometimes, but not all the time. And they most always carry greenhouse grown tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers usually. So I uh, definitely want to check here for some of your organic stuff to save some money. Today they have organic tomatoes, heirlooms, 18 bucks for about 15 pounds. It's definitely a good deal in my book. Just get out of Washington Festival, got the deal here on some earthbound organic greens. It's uh, three pounds for $4.50 for spring mix. Definitely a good deal. I want to encourage you guys to stop at Washington Vegetable first for all your organic needs. They carry a limited amount of organics, but the stuff they do have is a way better price than Earl's and other places I've found at the terminal. That being said, they don't have a whole lot. Stop here first. Five here first. Just came out of SNL Produce. And they have a few organic things. Today actually they had organic cantaloupes, like 15 count for like 13 bucks, something like that. Definitely a good deal. So check them. They got a few organic items. So we're walking the terminal once again. We went to the Earl's. We got the prices. We're walking around to check the prices. But the thing is, it's getting kind of late. It's after nine o'clock. Most places are starting to close down, put their food away and stuff. So nine o'clock is not the time you want to get here. Optimally, you want to get here like at seven. We got to the other terminal probably like 8.15. We gave over here. And I think it's still a little bit late to come, but you can still get by. But if you're coming for the first time, you want to get here as early as possible for the nicest displays and for the widest selection. If you come here late, guess what? The stuff gets sold, especially the good deals are gone, man. Early bird gets the worm, man. So anyways, we're going to walk this part of the terminal. This part of the terminal for me is mostly about tropical fruits. Like if I want, you know, jackfruit, ramitan, lychee, long on, things like that. So uh, let's check out, we're going to check out an S. STC and there's another place called uh, something fresh green I like to look at for the tropicals. Check it out what we got here man, we got some mango steams. But uh, I think these are fresh, but what I want to show you guys is on the box here. Look for the symbol. That's a Redura symbol treated by irradiation. So don't necessarily recommend that one. Check it out what I found man, some durian, but this is frozen durian. These boxes are definitely really heavy. It's like 50 something bucks a box for frozen durian. I definitely recommend you guys eat fresh fruit instead of frozen stuff, but I don't know. Durian could be a fun treat sometimes. It looks like it's about 32 pounds for 50 bucks. That's quite a pretty penny, man. I'd rather be eating some fresh figs or even some fresh jackfruit instead. So another thing I want to show you guys real quick here at the terminal is, you know, come into the produce terminal, you're going to see all kinds of different kinds of food that you may not have been introduced to before. This right here is a melon, but it's not a melon that you may have heard of. It's actually kind of like, it's related to the watermelon, but it's not, it's actually called uh, winter melon. And inside this is like, if you cut it open, it looks like a watermelon, but it's completely like white. But there's like no sweetness whatsoever. So this is, this is kind of like, more like a cucumber watermelon cross. It's not sweet. So it's definitely, I've juiced it before and like eating it, it's like eating nothing. But uh, definitely good, you want to try some time. So now we're at another part of the terminal. This is where they got the Yit Chong produce and I like them because they have tropical fruits, man. Like this is where I got some Raimi tans. They have lychees. They have also a good price on the young coconut if you want to get the young coconut. But other than that, they sell mostly like conventional stuff. So pretty much just come here for the tropicals and they, I found that they have the lowest price on tropicals out of this whole market here. Check out what we found, man. I got my baby, it's almost as big as me. It's so heavy I can't lift it because I still broke my arm, right? Jackfruit, baby, Yi Chong, got it here. Now, very important when picking a jackfruit, you don't want to get a big one that's not totally ripe and sweet. A couple things you want to do is you want to smell it. It should smell flowery and fragrant. Number two, it should have a nice color to it. It should also be fairly soft. 
and also between the little ridges, the little mountains, you, you want wide little pathways. But the main thing is go go for the smell, man. I'd hate for you to buy one of these guys and it just never is good. So, you know, I like to buy them as ripe as possible because I find they kind of tend to rot instead of ripen if you bring them home and they're not optimally ripe. You know, I would encourage you guys to eat some local ripe produce before you buy some jackfruit if it's not totally ripe any day of the week. All right, man, so we're just having a debate here with my friend uh, Matt, who I'm here at the terminal with today. We're having a great time. And uh, we just saw the jackfruit, and Matt really likes jackfruit. He loves jackfruit. He wants to get some jackfruit, but we're talking about it like, I'm like, dude, this stuff's not totally ripe. It's like $25 a case. And, you know, some cases are bigger than others because the jackfruits are bigger or smaller. And, you know, I say, man, I'd rather have, like, the organic cantaloupe for, like, 15 a case. It's not as much, and it's going to be better tasting cantaloupes that are unripe taste better than jackfruit that's unripe because I've had good jackfruit. Or I'd rather get figs for 32 a case than jackfruit for 25 when the figs are local and you're going to taste way better. And jackfruit is in season for a longer period of time, whereas the figs have a much shorter window. And I always encourage you guys to eat local, you know, the freshest, highest quality stuff whenever possible. And of course, you're going to have to figure out for yourself what you want to do. But you know, I always, always going to go for the price and the ripeness first. And then yeah, if I want jackfruit, I'll get it. I mean, what I'm going to do for the jackfruit is I'm going to wait until it's like citrus season and there's no other good fruits and there's still jackfruit or citrus. Then guess what? Between jackfruit and citrus, which wins? The jackfruit, baby. So we're just walking along the produce terminal. We just found these empty boxes, but I thought I'd take a minute to talk to you about bananas. Everybody loves their bananas. I definitely don't eat 30 bananas a day. For me, bananas are a filler food. But if you are going to get bananas, I highly encourage you guys to get the organic bananas. They spray non-organic bananas with thymobenzol, which is a fungicide. They also um, gas, as you guys saw earlier, organic and non-organic bananas because they're picked far too early. We want to get foods that are ripe as possible and not gas to ripen. That's totally not natural. Now, if you are going to get bananas, get organic ones. And they got two kinds here. They got the dual, or they had two kinds here because these are empty boxes. They got the dual. And then you got these guys, the Organics Unlimited. So if you're gonna get bananas, I highly encourage you guys to get the Organics Unlimited variety or the brand. They taste far better than the dull ones that I found. So uh, yeah, go organic and go unlimited on bananas. So just got out of Earl's and I got some uh, organic shallots. <laughs> Five bucks, normally 12.50 is on the markdown table. And uh, I don't really eat shallots that much. Actually, I don't can't remember the last time I ate shallots, but these guys for me are seed stock, actually. I'm gonna plant these in my garden and they're gonna grow shallots and I'll eat the shallot greens. And then next year, I'm gonna eat the shallots that I grew. So, uh, you know, using as seed stock. Definitely really cool. It's hard to find shallots sometimes, man. And I wanna try them, try some good ones one of these days. Besides that at Earl's, we got some uh, butternut squash, organic. I got that for a friend and we got some uh, some star crimson red pears. Right, so we just got done at the San Francisco Wholesale Produce Terminal. Actually, we didn't get a lot here. We got a lot more stuff at the South City, but each market has their pros and cons. And you said, John, which one should you go to? If you're only gonna to go to one, man, that's tough. I like to go to both of them. That way you get the best of both worlds, right? You can find the best deals, combine it all of them. Um, if you just had to go to one, I'd say go to the one that's closer to you, man. It'd just be far easier to do that. Unless, of course, if you want coconuts, then the South City Market is better for the coconuts. If you just want all the organic stuff, then definitely Earl's has a wider selection of all the organic stuff. If you want the best prices, man, it's like you got to go to Boat to like get get everything you want. So uh, I guess I'll, we'll go just go over real quick. Everything we got now is a summary, Let's, and I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do with it. Basically, we got a spring mix that's probably going to get into salads, into blended smoothies. We got the avocados. Split this case with a friend. So I'll probably go into a lot of guacamole. They're really small. So it'll probably actually go on top of my salad and whatnot. We got the figs. Figs are gonna be eaten out of hand. Of course, my, my buddy Matt got some grapes here. He's just gonna eat those guys. The cactus fruits, both kinds. We got the, uh, the green kind and the red kind there. They're gonna be turned into juice with a vert juicer and added with coconut water. Friend Matt also got some star crimson pears. Man, these are some delicious pears. He's gonna eat those right up. Also got the uh, zucchini squash, yellow zucchini squash here. That's where I can get spiralized and probably juiced. And uh, this is for a friend of mine. She's probably gonna cook them up as well. Got some delicious heirloom tomatoes, man. This is why I come to Terminal, man. Most of you guys know that organic heirlooms might cost like $5 a pound. 
Well, this thing's probably like 15 pounds. It was 18 bucks. Look at these heirlooms, man. They look absolutely beautiful, absolutely delicious. Definitely saving some good money. This is actually from What a Tomato. <laughs> then we got some uh, tutti frutti. We got some butternut squash here. Pick this up for a friend. Man, these guys are huge. Check it out. Organic butternut. Now, I would much rather you guys buy some butternut squash, cook it up, you know, then buy bananas and pour sugar on it. Because once again, this is a whole food. She's probably going to cook these up. Actually, she feeds it to her dogs and she, she likes it herself. Um, what I would do with this stuff is I would actually juice it. It makes a delicious juice when juice with like some apples. I would also spiralize this with the fine angel hair cutter to make small little thin noodles, man. Those are also really good. Then on this side, of course, we got the uh, Tierno or the baby coconuts here. Five cases, man, so 20 pieces each. And actually, you gotta get some straws because we're gonna be drinking these real soon, man. Pop holes in these and this is better than drinking bottled water, man. Nature's water, water in the coconut, never touch plastic, never touch any equipment, any factory, nothing, man. Through the coconut tree or palm into the coconut, man. Fresh, delicious water. Plus they got the meat in here. The meat in here is a little bit more mature than the young Thai meat. I'll turn this into probably like either uh, coconut milk. I could make a coconut cream, then like make a coconut ice cream out of it. You could take the meat, you could shred it and then dehydrate it. Make your own coconut uh, butter, coconut cream. And man, that stuff's totally delicious, so I'm glad. $15 a case of 20 best price I've ever gotten in the Bay Area on these guys. Lastly, of course, can't forget my shallots. These are basically seed stock for my garden. I might try to eat a couple since I've never really had them before. I, I don't eat a whole lot of garlic and onions, but you know, I'll eat them sometimes. And I want to encourage you guys to have sometimes, always, and never foods. Foods that you would never eat. So like, I will never eat McDonald's. I will never eat, I don't know, something like dead animal flesh. I will sometimes eat garlics and onions. I will sometimes eat, you know, I uh, know, seaweeds, but I will always eat fruits and vegetables, right? Sometimes, always, never, right? Make a list and uh, stick to it. So yeah, mainly these guys are gonna be used for uh, seed stock and I'm gonna try to grow them because I never grew shots before and I think it's gonna be fun. And uh, it's five pounds for five bucks. That's a dollar a pound for organic shallots. It's definitely a good price. Usually the man in the store, these guys are like real expensive. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this episode learning how to shop the South San Francisco and San Francisco wholesale produce terminals. I mean, I'm doing this so that you guys could eat organic affordably. It's really easy to buy fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and to consume them. Be sure to check my other videos on YouTube for, you know, different recipes and how I use these different foods. I mean, once again, eat your fresh fruits and vegetables. You can get them affordably in the Bay Area. Also, if you don't live in the San Francisco Bay Area, many other large cities have produce terminals. I have visited many of them. Check my other videos for some of those. And uh, some terminals are easier to work, manage than others. The ones in California seem to be particularly friendly to people just walking in, buying stuff by the case. Once again, at wholesale produce terminals, you need to have cash. You need to only buy by the case. They will not split up cases for you. But it's not a problem if you're into raw foods and eating a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables like I want you to. All right, the last thing, man, we're headed on the way home, but I mean, my favorite thing of the produce terminal is not like checking out and finding the deals and just seeing what's gonna be available and looking at all the delicious mouth-watering fruits and vegetables available, but I'd actually buy it on the way home and then pick out the figs that I'm gonna eat. Mmm, check it out. Jelly inside there, man. These things are the bomb. This is my lunch today and I'm so happy for it. Hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. All right, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. They have another exciting episode for you. We're here at the 2013 Woodstock Fruit Festival. Everybody's packing up, going home. I was able